So before this video begins, I have a few announcements I have to make. So there are five things that are going to change as soon as 2023 starts. Number one, I'll become gay. Number two, this channel is going to be renamed to Mighty Eagle without the 73 as, you know, my YouTube handle is already Mighty Eagle 73. So long story why I'm doing this change, I'll explain it in the community post very soon. But basically it has to do with this man. Number three, my second channel, currently known as Mighty underscore 073, will stay Mighty underscore Eagle 073. Well until I find a better name for it. But we'll become a road trip channel with all the old videos on that channel be put into unlisted. However, they'll still be available to watch as I'll be putting them into a playlist which I'll link in the description down below in case you want to for some reason watch them which I have no idea why you would do that but you know, the option is there for you. Like I honestly don't know why you want to watch them. They're all pretty bad. Number four, all of the genres that I used to upload into Mighty underscore Eagle 073 will be moved into this channel which just appeared on your screen for like a 60th of a second there. If you didn't see it, you didn't see it. I want to limit the amount of people who get access to that channel so um yeah I'm not gonna feature it anywhere else either. And finally number five, I may or may not have lied about number one. Either way, I'm not homophobic. I mean like how could I be homophobic? My bi- Anyway, welcome back to another episode of YouTuber Critiques. The series where I brutally, but not always accurately, give out ratings to other YouTubers. Am I a good person to do that kind of stuff? No, of course not. I mean like, someone who has like 678 subscribers after getting a shout out by a YouTuber with almost 107,000, well, exactly 107,000. Well, I, we don't know that because YouTube removed the exact amount of subscribers on a YouTube channel. So like, we don't know that. Come on, Susan, why are you doing this? And also look at my upload schedule, right? Since 2021, right? Since the beginning of 2021, this video, how many videos have I uploaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 videos. I mean, like, does that not speak for itself how bad of a YouTuber I am. Oh my gosh, I just realized it kind of looks like Brian has a cube on his head in that thumbnail. <laughs> I, I literally just realized it now. Does that not look like he has a cube on top of his head? <laughs> okay, well, I mean like... Brian doing Brian things. So yeah, obviously I'm not a good candidate to do that kind of stuff, but am I still gonna do it? No. And that concludes the video, ladies and gentlemen. See you all in my next video. Bye! Okay, so in the last episode, I critiqued three YouTubers with pretty much the exact same names as me. So that is Mighty Eagle Gaming, Mighty Eagle USA, and The Mighty Eagle. And essentially, I determined their wellness as a YouTuber based on six attributes, judged them based on each, and finally gave them an overall score and also a FIFA card. And my totally non-qualified analogy gave them respectively 71, 37, and 68. And those were relatively small channels, you know, they have like 42, 182, and 58 subscribers at the time. So it makes sense. Most small YouTubers aren't really that good, you know? Oh yeah, by the way, the YouTuber with the lowest rating that I gave two years ago called Mighty Eagle USA, who now goes by Mecha Godzilla now, has 4,220 subscribers now. I'm not sure whether that is karma trying to get back at me, but like, I mean, just purely based off of his videos, I don't think he deserves that many. Like, once again, I'm not trying to hurt you by saying all of these bad stuff to you, but like, the YouTube algorithm is doing wonders for your channel. <laughs> I mean, like, it fav- I guess it just favors these kind of 20 second videos with- What even are they? What even are they? I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and hope you like contributed to your local church or something and then you got a lot of attention. In which case, good on you, you deserved it. Oh yeah, by the way, meet my little buddy Quanti over here. Quanti the panda is just gonna sit over here for the entirety of this video to, you know, watch me record and hopefully bring me some luck. I have a different buddy sat over here on every single one of my videos where I'm sitting here and it involves my webcam, so uh, 
Yeah. So yeah, last episode, I critiqued uh, three YouTubers, all with pretty much the same name as me. I still don't want to go like mainstream and critique the big YouTubers with like millions and tens of millions of subscribers yet because I already know how that's gonna end. Maybe if I get a little bit more experience from these videos, so like if I get up to episode 9 or 10, I'll do it, which at the current rate will probably come out in like 2042. I'll probably have kids old enough to have their own YouTube channels where I'll critique their YouTube channels by at that point. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this tool called random word generator and also a random number generator that generates a number from 1 to 100. And hopefully that lands on a YouTuber with uh, a significant amount of subscribers. So uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so let's generate our first two words. Angle, ritual, and 20. So I'm gonna place them on this uh, handle over here with the newly created YouTube handles thing where you can just type in at and then you can just type in the username. So angle, ritual, 20. I highly doubt that's gonna be a YouTube channel. Yeah, I thought so. Let's generate another one. Nail Smooth 87. So this is gonna be like a makeup channel or something, yeah? Please be no. Nope. <laughs> okay, well, this is gonna take a while. Random Favorable 90. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Let me make this a little bit more efficient, I guess. Slice Spin 38. Uh, this is not gonna. Oh! <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's not. Let's let's not do that. Let's not do that. Oh my gosh, what are these words? Okay, this is gonna take a while. Let me. I'm gonna keep doing this until I land on someone. All right. You have got to be kidding me. This is. This is random, right? This is not based on anything. Okay, yeah, I'm going nowhere with this. So, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try one more. I doubt this is gonna work. Yeah, no. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna get rid of the number generator. I'm just gonna use the word generator. Denumberizing the username, just like what I'm trying to do. And we're still getting nowhere. Oh, uh, is there a faster way of doing this? Oh, we got our first YouTuber. We actually got off. Oh my god, I take. Oh, that took a while. That took a while. All right, first review. At first review, courtesy of a random word generator. Let's do this. So, it seems like this channel is not in English, so I'm not gonna be able to understand what this guy is gonna say half the time. Hmm. All right, so just my first review of this channel. <laughs> it seems like you're a tech review channel, and uh, as always, I'm gonna pull out the latest video, the uh, most popular video, which has 72,000 views, holy. And also just a random channel, so I'm not, I'm not close my eyes, I, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, and click. This is gonna be this video. NVIDIA GTX 1050. I mean like, that's like the crappiest of the graphics cards, but like, okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to understand this guy. This guy is speaking German, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's from Germany, he's speaking German, so... My entertainment score is probably going to be inaccurate because how can I be entertained by a guy speaking a language I don't even know? I mean, like, I know Guten Tag, das ist cool, und mein Name ist Jeff. Jeff. But, like, I don't know anything else. Okay, so I guess to keep this video short, I'm just going to, like, go through all of these videos and then, like, give you my final verdict because, like, I don't really have time to, like, watch through these videos with you. Otherwise, it's gonna be another 29-minute video. Oh, wait, I can turn on subtitles, right? And then auto-translate to English. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, that helps a little bit. The subtitles don't really make a lot of sense. Actually, it does, but like, I don't know. Okay, so I just had a quick look on all three of these videos. Uh, I watched like parts of it. I didn't watch the whole thing because obviously, I mean like, I don't have all day. And uh, yeah, then overall, it was a very, it was this channel, the videos that they do was very good. I mean like, I actually don't know why you only have 4,500 subscribers and uh, only five likes per video, 89 views. 
You only have 300 more subscribers than Mecha Godzilla now, but your videos are so much better. I mean, like, your videos are better than my. Well, obviously, I mean, like, I, I suck as a YouTuber. I have no right calling myself that good. But your videos are so much better than mine. Like, you also have, like, descriptions and stuff. You also have, like, timelines, chapters explaining which part of videos you're explaining which. Especially. This, this, this one is called Anschlaus. Um, I don't know what Anschluss means, but I not necessarily associated with good things in the past. Let's just say that. But anyway, this video is in 4K. Quality is also very good. I mean, like I can like full screen this and see the individual pixels. They're not, they're not even in 4K. It's 1440p. How's that looking 4K then? Monsters up. Even better. Wow. So obviously quality is going to be very high, but let's uh let's go to the criticism now. All right. So. Throughout this whole video, and now once again, I don't speak German, I don't know what he's saying, but he explains quite a lot. Like, he just sits here and just explains for a, a lot of the video. I mean, like, I personally don't find this very entertaining. I mean, unless you're actually, like, telling some comedy jokes as well. I mean, like, you know, you're entertaining us with all of these good stuff. I mean, like, based on the subtitles, right, I don't think he's doing that. He's just talking about, like, oh, yeah, this shot is really good as well, by the way. Uh, he, all you're saying is just technical specifications, and people are gonna, like, start getting bored of it. Like, obviously, you know, you're sharing your knowledge on the, uh, you know, on the tech gadget. That's really good, but, like, try to, like, switch up the gears a little bit. I mean, like, you're just talking about stuff, and people are gonna start getting bored. But obviously this is a uh, tech review channel, obviously that really isn't that important. Uh, one thing I also really like is about 10, 12. Okay, where is that? Yeah, just the simple shots of the remote control, yeah? These shots of the remote control, I mean, just a simple object, they're all so good. And obviously, you know, uh, the background as well, like he has it so tidy, he has planes, cars, and all that kind of stuff. He has like, like his background is also really tidy. I mean, like my background, I mean, my lighting for, for, for starters isn't really that good. It's just, I have a white background and quantity over here, but then like beside quantity, a bunch of stuff, obviously, which I haven't tidied yet. I should probably just put them away now. Like I, I, I'm a bit jealous. There we go. All right, now it's just quantity here. Oh my gosh, what? Okay. I'll, I'll cut that out of the video. But yeah, for, based on the first video, which is the latest video, 89 views, only 89 views. Wow. Some of my videos get more than 89 views in the first like five days. So it's very good. And also these intro and outro. I mean, like, look at this. This is so good. Like it has like an animation that like pans onto him. And then when it ends, it just, you know. Great outro music, not really that loud. Shows your name. This is really good. I mean, that intro and outro is also really good. And I think he has it on all of his videos. He doesn't have it on this one, but this one is kind of old, I guess. So I guess it's kind of like a new thing. Oh yeah, this video kind of ends off awkwardly as well. And yeah, does he have it in this video? Oh, he has like a... He has this outro as his intro in this one. There is probably a point that I don't really like. And also, end screen here is kind of blocking out the uh, video at the end here a little bit. So that's a couple of points deducted. Other than that, look at this. Look at the, I might I might actually take inspiration from this guy. Okay, guys, do you want to see me have this kind of intro? Like just you know a quick two three second flaming like just kind of going up and down. Like, do you guys want to see that on my channel? Because I want to see that on my channel, wow. Anyway, back to my critiques. Uh, over here, there's this kind of like, this like and subscribe thing that pops up. And I actually really like that. I have my own on like the ends of my videos. So that's pretty cool. But once again, it's at the wrong time. If, I mean, if I just auto translate this, right? I, if I just auto translate this, he doesn't talk anything about liking and subscribing. You really shouldn't have this in the middle of your videos without any warning. So, um, 
Uh, once again, that's just my opinion. I'm probably not going to deduct points off that, actually. That's, that's just my opinion. You really shouldn't have that in the middle of your video. But actually, I had that once in the middle of my video, but at least I gave warning to it. Like, once again, you're talking a lot. Like, I'm pretty sure at one point you're just talking, like, for this whole video, like, occasionally bringing up your phone every now and then. Like, people are going to start getting bored of that. Aktivier Spieler. I think of German, yeah. It's long words. And I guess here, right? When you're screen recording, it's best if you have like a webcam, like right next to you, like on the top left corner, top right corner. I mean like, obviously you're not camera shy. I mean, you even have like a 4K camera that's better than mine. I'm literally using my phone to record my face right now. So like, yeah. So obviously that's not a problem for you. So yeah, just have like something recording your face when you're screen recording because screen recordings normally are like pretty dull. But then again, I kind of see the other side of the story. And yeah, one more thing is that when you pan your camera onto your phone, this line over here, it's best, like when you're showcasing your phone to like, just move your phone like out of the way so that this line can't be seen by the camera. It's just my opinion though. Now I switch out the third video for a newer video because um, his third video was actually kind of bad, which doesn't really reflect his newer style. Obviously, he has improved. So I switched the video. Another thing I realized, apart from his like great intro and outro, well, kind of intro is kind of like don't have the same intro as your outro. That kind of gets repetitive. But like, who cares? That's not really that bad. Look at this transition. This transition is really good. Now, now I probably should just want to make a transition for my videos. I mean, like, that was really good. I think I might implement some of this guy's concepts into my videos because that's how much I've, inspi I've got inspiration while critiquing. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, right afterwards, like all of these shots of the uh, JBL Flip 6 as well. Beautiful. I mean, like, you're showing them like the environment don't okay maybe this shot has too much greenery going on like yeah like for the entirety like what one two three for like three seconds you're just showing the grass and then until you pan onto the jbl maybe that's a bit excessive but small things small things but other than that for the entirety of the other video yeah like okay maybe there's a there's a bit of shots here there's a close-up shot of the jbls Wait, let me just translate this. Really better than the JBL Flip 5? I mean, I have a JBL Flip 4, so I, they, uh, it probably should be. Yeah, he pans onto them and then talks about them, but other than that, 20, for like the 17 to 18 minutes, you're just sitting there talking about the camera, I, th I assume. Let me just translate that real quick. Like, just translate some of Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're just talking about the technical specifications. I'm mean, like, obviously nerds will kind of enjoy it, but like, I don't know. I honestly do not know about that. The bass is no louder than when you have the equalizer in the natural position because that's simply due to technical limitations of this housing. So yeah, that's just my critique of the, this channel. Obviously not really qualified to do do this, but already it's so much better than my videos. I'm jealous. So quality 97, 90, maybe even nine. Okay, maybe not 97 because like I've seen YouTubers with way better quality. So like I would have to save the 90, the high, like the high 90s for them. So I'll probably say 94, all right? And my quality probably be down to about 85 now looking at it because, uh, you know, it's two years in the future now. Standards have changed and I haven't really improved much. So yeah, uh, I probably dropped to 85. Content, I mean, this guy has like a pretty solid upload schedule. Okay, there's a two month video gap here. But other than that, they're all like, they all fit into the theme of your channel. I mean, your ch channel is called First Review. Once again, thank you, uh, Random Word Generator, for, for bringing me to this channel. So, yeah, the content is also... I would say the content, like, also really good. Probably, like, 92, 93. I'll, I'll, I'll give 92. They were, like, really good content, and they also, like, you know, you don't really have, like, anything that... Oh, yeah, okay, well. What? <laughs> this video maybe does not fit into the channel, but, like, actually... Does it not fit into the channel? Yeah, it doesn't fit. It's just a gaming channel. Wait, 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 wait. 
What does he talk about though? Oh yeah, okay, maybe okay, yeah, that that fits it that kind of fits into his channel a little bit. But like, yeah. The thumbnail here is kind of a bit of an anomaly. Just compared to the rest of them. So yeah, I'll say, okay, maybe that one video dragged it down to a 91. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, aesthetics wise, I mean, I already praised it so many times, all of the transitions and stuff, all of the thumbnails also look pretty good, they're all like, you know, these texts, they're all like, very uniform as well, they all look so very good, he has a specified channel logo and like, text and stuff, so, yeah, I would say the aesthetics are also pretty good, I'll probably say 89 on this one, uh, there's still kind of room for improvement, because if you just look at some of my like really okay what's a channel with really good aesthetics my buddy here j perm cubing channel yeah actually no it's not that much better okay what about like the really big channel like mr freaking beast yeah okay yeah look. i mean like that's just clickbait but like his thumbnails are really on to a point you know what i mean so yeah 89 probably be fair Entertainment, yeah, this is where I'm gonna drag you down a little bit. Probably 57 or 58, because you talk on and on for so long about technical specifications, and that's just... Oh, down point. Attractiveness is... I mean, a lot of these videos will probably get me clicked on. Like, if I see one of these videos on my home screen, I mean, like, a good uh, strategy is actually just to Photoshop, like, one of your videos here and then see whether like would you click on it actually let's just do that real quick let's choose a random video uh this video oh for god's sake premiere come on you've already caused me enough suffering all right here we go F hastily photoshop stuff is this worth looking at i mean probably not because i can see it's in german here so i'll probably not click on it but probably just out of this the only more attractive thumbnails is this and this and oh gosh this oh this is but like that's only because of me, I'm interested in that kind of stuff. But yeah, the only thumbnail that really stands out other than this one is this, so yeah. You're ranked second in terms of aesthetics, so I would say 84. 84 for aesthetics, really good. And finally, honesty. I mean like, do I really, uh, is there anything to be honest about? <laughs> I'll, I'll probably say 98 with the only down point being like, actually I can't even judge honesty because I don't know what these even say. I'll probably just say like 90. Nine. You know what? 99. I, uh, I mean, okay. So here's the overall ratings. Uh, keep in mind the entertainment and the uh, honesty is gonna be. I I'm gonna mark red here because I honestly don't have the language skills required in order to judge those. So yeah, these are your stats. Uh, overall score probably like 87, 88 maybe because this channel is so good. Like any higher, you could be actually a genuine like multi i mean if i saw this channel and it was a multi-million subscriber tech review channel i would believe it in fact i am in awe and shock that this only has 4.5k subscribers so yeah 88 maybe even 89 let's give it 89 yeah 89 i don't think until i get to the large subscriber category i don't think i'll ever come across a channel as good as this in my uh, YouTuber critique series, so I'm jealous of you. Okay, so editing Oscar here, I actually critiqued two more YouTubers here, well, one YouTuber and one large company, but I did not realize the video was already at its 24th minute at this point, so unfortunately they're not going to make the final cut of this video. However, I will put a link in the description to the extra scenes where I did critique them, as well as an extended version of this video featuring these two, which will probably come out in about a week or two. Future videos are also only going to critique one YouTuber only, as the length is beginning to become a bit of an issue on this series. Sorry, Digital and NBO, you guys did not deserve as much attention as first review. How would you guys rate all of these channels? Let, let me know in the comment section down below, but I will just say this real quick. Uh, first review, this guy over here. I don't know, okay, not that I'm gonna make much impact to him anyway, but like, his YouTube channel is so underrated. So, if you are German, which I doubt any of you guys are, go subscribe to him. I mean, he really deserves better. He is so, like, I think this might be the most underrated YouTuber I've seen in my life. I don't remember how many YouTubers I've seen, like, I, but like, I've never, like, I've never said 
on camera about anyone being so underrated before. This guy put so much work into his videos, so much like, he probably, like, I can see, like, he probably spent like 20 grand or 30 grand on these videos. Look at all of these tech stuff that he's bringing in as well. Like, where is he getting all of this? Is he just making them from the money that he gets from the videos? Because if so, he is doing this at a huge loss. Either that or he just buys them for himself. Or like, he gets brand deals. Does he get brand deals? I mean like, he has Amazon affiliate links. Yeah, these are Amazon affiliate links. So like, if he talks good about them, they, you know, he kind of gets money from that. But like, still, this thing probably brings in like 40, 50 dollars just from the amount of views. And this IKEA Roomba probably costs a lot more than that. So this guy is super underrated. I don't, I think it's just because he's German and that's why like there's not really much many German people looking for tech reviews but like wow I've never seen an, a YouTube channel with such high quality and so little subscribers so yeah <laughs> not much to say anyway guys that's really all I have to say for this video once again sorry this video is so long again I said I'll make it shorter but like ugh. If you have enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like button and um, spam the 100 emoji in the comment section because... <laughs> of course, subscribe to this channel and, you know, hit that little bell if you haven't already. That really helps in uh, defrustrating my horrible upload schedule, so... <laughs> do that if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, thank you for putting up with all of my... I don't know what -ness I've done this whole video-ness. And uh, yeah, <laughs> see you all in the next one. Bye!